Here's an update on the things that I've been doing lately. Um, I got me a meter, and uh, I installed this at the beginning of March. Um, it's March 16th right now, so I've generated 156 kilowatts so far this month. Um, it's a very cloudy day, so I'm not generating much. Um, it's been really nasty out all day. Um, not much sun anywhere. But, as you can see, it's very, very cloudy out. So, anyhow, um, they're not all up on mounting rackets yet because uh, I'm waiting. But, I have them all up there now. Uh, they're just setting up there at, at, uh, for the moment. Um, got a lot of little projects going on. So I'll give you guys an update on some of the things I've been up to. So um, This was an old uh, walk behind edger. Um, you know, uh, there was a gentleman that I had that was throwing it away. Um, and I asked him, uh, you mind if I take it? He's like, yeah, no mind. Eh, go ahead. So then I went ahead and did that to it. So it's a three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton. I went ahead and uh, painted it, cleaned it, got it all nice and new. Um, but a little bit of plexiglass there from all the cutting I've been doing. So uh, my main purpose is um, I'm going to go ahead and make a generator here. So that way if my batteries do get low... I can crank this puppy on and uh, get my batteries back up in voltage. Um, this right here, um, I got out of a treadmill. Um, I'm thinking of just going ahead and getting a pulley for this. Um, putting it on there for temporary um, until I actually get me a uh, PMA, permanent, per uh, permanent magnet motor. So this is my, I'm going to try to make an MPP system here. So I've got my individual buck boost converters. Um, I've got a bunch more coming in. Um, I've been having a bad deal with Banggood right now. Um, wouldn't suggest doing too much business with them. Um, I've ordered through them three times so far, and each time that I've ordered through them, um, not good. But uh, so we got our fuses in here. Well, we got our fuses in here. Um, I got 10 amp fuses for each panel. Um, so that way when they get ran in here, uh, sorry, excuse me, I'm trying to get this fuse out, but, uh, this way when they get ran in here, if anything hits, um, I'll be protected, but, uh, I got a 10 amp fuse in them, and, uh, for each panel. So, uh, they're rated for 10 amps. Uh, it ain't coming in too clear, but each one's rated for 10 amps. There it is. And, uh, this way, I'm all fused up the right way that I needed to be. Um, I'll have all my grounds come in so I can have each rail grounded out. That's going to take two of these per panel because these only push out 150 volts or watts. Um, panels can put up to uh, 200 watts, so two of these per panel. And um, I got a shocky diode that I'll be putting into each one. Um, this is the front of the panel right here. So I'll have my voltage and amperage for each individual panel that comes in. And then I've got a meter here for my bulk. Um, so this way I can see what's coming in and out of the uh, MPP charger. Um, I can see the differences in amperages and voltages combined. And then after all this is done, it'll come into my individual breakers. These are uh, 63 amps, and I've got two of these. i got another one coming. Um, this right here will be my temperature sensor uh, for when these start to heat up. Uh, these fans right here. I got me some blue LEDs. They're uh, uh, just clear, so this way it'll uh, complement the plexiglass case that I've got. And I've also put uh, LEDs all the way along the rim. Um, they're blue too. Uh, the whole case lights up. It's looking pretty good so far. But um, then I've got my uh, buck converter 
for uh, powering all my individual units. This is a relay that I have here. It's a voltage relay. So uh, this way, when my battery voltage gets too low, um, it'll either kick this on or um, it'll turn in my uh, other charger that I have that's on the grid. Um, that'll come into these combined, um, come out into some zero gauge. Um, this right here is another little gizmo that I've been making, I've been working on. Um, I'll bring it over here real quick. Um, this is my little boom box slash generator inverter is what it is. So anyhow, we got some lithium ion cells. Um, I've got four packs of six. Um, coming to 16.4 volts. Um, I have this as, as a um, buck boost converter um, which is coming in through my charge port right there and what you see underneath here is an inverter. It's a 200 watt inverter. Um, that's what this right here will be. This is the 200 watt inverter. Um, that in there is the actual board for the audio. That's the audio board in here. Um, it does have Bluetooth right here, Bluetooth capability, um, and it's 20 watts. But I ordered a new chip, a new one of these, a whole actual board, because I want to be able to put SD cards in, Bluetooth capability, and everything. And I got a little LCD screen that I'll put up here on the top when it's all said and done. Um, this is the top for it, and I still got to cut all the holes in this for it. But um, just to give you a little rundown, um, just so that way you guys can like get an idea. But here's the case so far. Um, that's just the case. But uh, just for instance, just so you guys can see, um, I'll plug the inverter in. This is the inverter right here. Alright, the inverter is plugged in. Alright, and then here's my power from my inverter, which is running off of this. And uh, we'll go ahead and take this fan, just for instance. But, uh, go ahead and plug this right into here. I'm not going to play any music on this because I don't want any copyright infringements. Um, that's my whole power board for this one, but I do have another one coming in. Um, that's why I'm not too worried about this one. I'll give you guys an update once I have it all coming in. It just takes forever to come from China, if y'all know what I mean. But, um, I don't want to get shocked. Give me a second. Alright. So, anyways, that's inside here, which is, and this is a buck converter. So this is at 16.4 volts running through the buck converter. Uh, buck, the buck converter I have at 12.5 volts. And so anyhow, um, it'll be a all-in-one. I got one, two, three, and four. Four speakers on it. Sounds pretty good. Um, the new board that I have is uh, um, 50 watts two channels and one 100 watt 50 or uh, 100 watt subwoofer channel um, so that way I can put another auxiliary port and I'm going to make another box for another speaker that will be a sub but like for instance like right here is the fan I mean as you can tell I mean it's it's running the fan and uh But I mean just you know it's nice to have it. It's all running off that little box. Um some six uh six uh eighteen six fifties. Um and uh it'll be pretty nice when it's done. So it's a portable power station slash radio and uh I'm gonna put a bunch of uh I gotta extend the uh chargers. I'm gonna put a couple of chargers for phones in it. And, um, but this is just the beginning products of it that I give you guys a look at it, but.
Yeah, so. It's running the fan. I run it for quite a while. I think there's like uh, two times, two and a half times six. We're looking at, uh, well, I don't know, 14. Maybe. I, I, I'll say 10 amp hours just to be safe. But, um, there's that. It's pretty cool. So that's what I've been up to. Um, this right here, I just got to finish getting all the fans in. I got two of these fans. Um, and uh, I got to wait for the rest of those to come in. And I got another one of these coming in. And then I just got to wire it all up and uh, place it right up in here. And then I'll run all the wire and conduit into it. Um, that'll come down. So that's what I've been up to, everybody. Just thought I'd give you an update. Um, so peace and love everyone have a good one let me know what you think and uh, I'll keep you updated so have a good one everyone goodbye